Okay, I'm going to decode some APRS packet used by amateur radio operators to send messages. It's digital and I'm on 144.390 megahertz. There's a packet right there coming in. What I'm going to do is use multi-PSK and just click on the packet plus APRS and it'll start decoding when the packets come in. You might be asking what APRS packet is so I'll do a search for it APRS PACKET packet now the first one that comes up is the one that's a Wikipedia this has got a lot of information about the automatic packet reporting system. Now, here are the frequencies. The one I'm on is the first one, 144.390 for North America. Colombia is in there, Chile, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand. I haven't tried these other frequencies yet, but this is a sample of the audio that you'll hear. And that's a packet coming in. Give this a read. It's very interesting. And it'll explain how the packet system works. There's another little packet coming in. I'll unmute it so you can hear it again. There, there it is right there. So when a packet comes in, it'll show up on multi-PSK and decode it. So I'm going to click on packet plus APRS and that should do it right there. And there you are. Uh, this is from Mississauga City Center. It's in Toronto. And it's from VE3 GXV via VE3 RSP. These are Canadian licenses, amateur license operators. You can do a search again on uh, Google and the information will come up on this gentleman or this lady, whoever it is. Here's another one, VE3 SKH-1. VA3GF. From time to time you will see uh, text in their messages. A lot of times you don't. Amherst, New York. Grand Island, New York. Only about 20 miles away from me, Grand Island. Western New York. Amherst. Sweet home. Sometimes you'll see their coordinates in here too. You can check that out on um, Google. Nothing really interesting. Nothing really interesting so far. So you let this run for a while and uh, come back and See if there's anything interesting to read. Weather station, WX station. I like letting this run for a couple hours. And go back and check the log and see if there's anything interesting in here. The setup I'm using is SDR Uno software. I should have that on 12, 12K. And um, FM and FM, 12K for the filter. And uh, that's about it. You can see the packet right there. I'm using multi PSK, as I said. There's other programs out there, freeware, and uh, some that you can buy uh, that will do this. But if anybody was interested, I hope this has answered some of your questions.
give it a try. It's a way for amateur operators to contact each other instead of using voice. They use digi digital. There's some coordinates here that you could punch in to uh, Google. I'm going to have to um, do some research and figure out what all this means, a lot of it, so I'll be able to understand it a lot better. Not very busy today. It's 1.21 p.m. As it gets later, people get home from work and that, and they this picks up a lot more packets coming in. And also you can check out the other frequencies for other countries around the world, see if you can pick them up. There's a packet there. It's weak, so it won't decode. Right there. I don't know. Maybe that's from another country. This is Negr. A-R-E-S Negr. Someone talking on there. That's voice. So I hope you found this interesting. If anybody wants to give it a try, it's called APRS Packet. You might find it interesting. I hope so. So take care. I hope you enjoy this.